It's hard to find a more gratifying shot to hit in Tarkov than a bolt action one tap. But I've often found myself in dangerous spots where a single miss would mean death. So I created a simple set of rules for proper sniper gameplay without taking fights. A real sniper wouldn't. And I applied them to Tarkov. First, Sills. Stop, look, listen, and smell at every new POI. Now smell doesn't translate well to Tarkov, so we'll simplify it as stop, look, and listen. Second, always fire from concealment. The less exceptions to this rule, the better things will inevitably go. And finally, when crossing open terrain, speed is what you need. So hit that gas pedal until you can take cover to allow for another quick sill stop. So I did a day of wood sniping, and to mix things up, a day of custom sniping as well. To enforce these rules, and here's how it went. Might cut down and see if something pops off late at Emercom. I just cleared village and was making my way towards Emercom, when I spotted something out of place on the rocks above me. I picked up the pace, and attempted to take up a position to fire from concealment. Guy on the rock. Holy. And to my surprise, the PMC hadn't spotted me running down the hill. I found a great spot to peek out of, feeling confident the PMC wouldn't spot me, with trees and bushes concealing my position. You not see me? I never been looking for him. I stuck to the plan and quickly looted Emercom, surprised no one had come through already. That being said, I'm still gonna go out the way I always say you shouldn't, which is like this. I still think this is bad. We have never been punished for it. Never say never. I immediately ate my words as a player was on top of the hill heading toward Emercom. I took a single shot, and in the spirit of a more survival-focused okay, sniper playstyle, attempted to back out, leaving some soft and hard cover behind me to reposition. Unfortunately, for him maybe, the PMC ended up pushing my position almost immediately. Hey, buddy. He's not looking so hot. A second PMC and assumed teammate made himself known just as we downed the first, making a quick rotation around the hillside our best option to get the upper hand on him. Oh, no. Took a terrible shot at him. A lapse in our patience led to a quick shot as the teammate rotated towards our last known position. Oh, see him? I knew I had to calm things down, as patience would be the winner of this fight. And PMCs rarely take the option of leaving their buddies loop behind. Just saw his arm. We gotta stay him soon. I crept around the hillside, looking for a clue to what he was up to. And after a few minutes, our target presented itself, having taken a position to watch over his buddy's body. And we executed. Hey, buddy. I'm Sergeant Prepper. The odd suppressed shot makes me nervous. This revolver is absolutely goaded. Yes, he did. Run across. Oh, he's dead. Back you sick him. I'm 
serious contention up ahead. Later in the day, I made my way through the sunken village, opting to skip through all the rare loot for the action up ahead at the USAC camps. Could have just been uh, dispatching a scav, right? Could have killed a scav, hit the bunker, and be on his way already. I made my way to the second camp, took a quick seals break, and was rewarded shortly after with gunfire ahead. Might be going the if it was the guy here and he's going the opposite direction, we might not catch him at this speed. Clearing the hillside, I found the duo making all the noise. There's no scabs over here, so they're fighting somebody. Oh, just saw movement. Pretty sure. Or, oh, yep. Okay, he's coming my way. I went. Why is there a scav here? Unsure of where the first PMC ran to, and with a scav scaring the crap out of me, thinking I was being flanked, I decided to rotate all the way around the lake, find concealment, and watch over our initial kill. I think I see the buddy. Do we f this up? I do see him. Once again, the goal here was to avoid an impatient shot that would cause our second target to disappear and end the fight. I like where we're at. But I worry I just pass somebody in there. We're not, like, concealed like I would like. From this side, we're looking good. Remember in Tarkov, the bushes can literally just start rustling while you're sitting in it without you making noise. Like, it, on our side, it's fine. Can't aim up. So if I see him on the rock right now, better just run. Ooh. So after getting eyes on him again, I simply observed and let him clear the area enough to be comfortable looting his buddy's body. Wish I could aim higher. He's up on the rock. He's like, it's clear, Timmy. It's not here. Now I want to be back to the left. Anything we can do to get a little bit more visual on our guy. We're hoping he gets bored having cleared up top and comes down. I kind of expected to see him by now. He was. He's coming down. Yeah, we're not going to see his head. A few shots could have worked, but waiting for the sure thing would be best. Oh yeah, do it crouched. We like that. We like that a lot. Our patience rewarded once again. It was time to scoop their loot and move on. What'd you guys get for me? Uh, I think this is worse. I think doing this is worse. It, we're, we're better off risking it and not having a big visual aid. 43. I'd have been like, man, I only have a Mosin. Just leave me. They're smart, too. They run the same backpack so they can identify each other easy. Cool. Attempting to move quickly over the open terrain and grab some quick stash loot, a fellow sniper was crossing the road up ahead. Assuming I hadn't been spotted, I did my best to find a covered firing position. Had the timing been a bit different, we wouldn't have been so lucky. Of course, 
Crossing the open road and field, he also broke the rules, as speed would have probably saved his life there. Patience on display. Happy with the kill, I moved to the outskirts extract without issue. Not bad! Starting out near Big Red, customs would prove a bit trickier to find safe firing positions that wouldn't be compromised by fast moving squads. Spotting PMC movement, I cross quickly to start looking for an angle to engage them. I brought a suppressed pistol instead of the revolver for this raid, as I figured third parties would be much closer on customs than on a location like Woods. Off to a bad start, having assumed the PMCs were moving a bit quicker toward construction, I bailed myself out of a close encounter with the 5-7. The goal now was to rotate around toward the checkpoint, figure out who he was fighting at the start, and this time get the drop on the next target. Airdrop for cover will be nice, I think. And as luck would have it, just when I wanted to push in, an airdrop came through and covered my position. I didn't have time to swap weapons. So once again, I used the 5-7, but this time, feeling much better about my approach to the fight. I wasn't entirely sure if the goons had just fired on me or what was happening, but I didn't have time to figure it out as the airdrop came down right above the smuggler's extract in the road, and I knew this would be the perfect setup for our next kill. I waited a few minutes, gunfire getting closer and closer from the dorms, and knew it would only be a matter of time before someone took the airdrop bait. You're gonna be watching from the hill. But now? And there he was, carefully clearing his way across the road. I knew he would take a look down the hill first and finally feel confident it was safe to hit the airdrop. I just needed him to present a target once looting. Not thrown. I'll about do it. It was a tight shot, but the green of his helmet barely stuck out from behind the airdrop, and that was all I needed. Patience, and a well-concealed firing position, once again rewarded. Heard a rattle. Thanks for clearing this hillside for me. He appeared to be alone, and had already cleared the area relatively well, but I still felt some smokes were necessary to cover looting a body in the middle of the road. I grabbed essentials, took a quick peek into the box, as it's hard to pass up that search XP, and then made my way back through cover when I felt I'd overstayed my welcome.
Should we even investigate what happened over here? It was probably the goons. I don't know if we lived through an assault. M995. I made the right call to grab it. Welcome. Sky on the walls, walls loot. Mog, welcome to the bunker. Congratulations, taking the first step, surviving the apocalypse. Getting here, getting the tier through clearing. Start of the background check underway, making sure you're not CIA, FBI, NSA, or IRS. Appreciate you throwing up that follow. I did, however, double back just to scoop a bit more loot off the second kill. They had to have been shooting at me through terrain. That's why I didn't get hit, right? We never checked the loot on the second guy either. Not that interesting. Nice hat, though. He brought lunch. Not exactly on par with the chat at the airdrop, but he brought lunch, so I wasn't going to complain. <laughs> yeah, beef stew MRE goes down smooth. Wash it down. I'm gonna leave the other body at the bus stop. Surprisingly, I didn't hear a peep the rest of the raid and simply crossed the map carefully and extracted. That was fun. The next raid, we started by the train tracks. And just as I approached the rocks to take up a spot for a nice sills break and look for a potential target, a PMC walked into view making his way to the back of old gas. I heard someone. I got him, though. No? Someone's just coming over the hill on me. God, I'm a ghost. I'll save you the boredom. I looked for the PMC that naded my previous position for way too long. Sound next to me. Never found him and moved Get on. Away. As I heard fighting up ahead towards the dorms. I approached the dorms, used speed to cross the open road, and took a quick sills break in the bushes. I crept around the hill, listening for more clues as to what had been happening in the dorms. Gunshots rang out from what I could only assume was behind the dorms, not inside. That being said, these shots don't sound muffled. They sound like they're in the courtyard. Like I said, that's not indoors. I don't really have concealment to fire from here. Maybe a little bit of grass. I crept around as best I could to get eyes on the staircase behind the three-story dorms and heard movement a few minutes later. Back up. Just heard the staircase. That was loud too. That could have been the jump from top. I think he just went inside. Would love to go pop the car and then just get the hell out. Thinking I'd missed my shot. The dangerous idea occurred to me to pay for the car, so they had to come through my direction once the fighting finished. Is this stupid?
And then things got a bit weird. Looks like the scab on this. He ran. Oh. Never mind. Looks like a Timmy. Not the best engagement, but the rest of the fire seemed to cover my first missed shot, and we got the job done. So right along this fence line here, I wish this had a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a hill. Now, our goal is to snipe, play smart, stay safe, survive, and extract. I decided my best option was to go back to the hill overlooking the dorms and simply see if our target came through the most common path. And after several minutes of waiting, our target appeared. I didn't want to ruin several minutes of patience with a hasty shot, so I tried to maintain a good position to observe his movement. We goofed. Unfortunately, as I moved down the hill, he seemed to cross a bit closer to me, and I was almost certain he'd heard my movement above him. Just when I thought I'd been compromised and he was pushing me, I heard him run off toward the road. And the reward for my patience? He crouched up ahead to clear the area before crossing the road. I thought we were full compromised. It was a tight window of opportunity, but I nailed it. Grabbing the loot, I assumed the only thing left on the map would be scavs, and made my way toward extract. We're unbearing the rig. No, but I'm not changing. I don't care that much. Smugglers not open, I hit the crossroads and got out with the reward for my patience. That worked out. 